And while we're waiting, um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about um, vaccine equity. And as I was saying earlier, um, I've been vaccinated. 40% uh, of the US population has been vaccinated in Honduras. Very, very few people have been vaccinated. And around the world, in developing countries, it's only about 10% of the population. And the reason for that is, uh, in part, in small part, um, some mismanagement by the countries themselves. But the largest reasons that there is no um, vaccines in countries like Honduras is number one, because wealthy countries were able to get in at the beginning and pre-order the vaccines. So they were um, on the top of the list when vaccines were ready, that's where the vaccines went. So all the flow of vaccines went to a few wealthier countries. And secondly, pharmaceutical companies hold patents on their vaccines and they don't like to share them. So they don't wanna give vaccines away. They don't get, wanna give away vaccine recipes. Um, and they feel like that's their right. They invested a lot of money in it. But in this case, in the pandemic, it was really the taxpayers of countries that invested uh, in order to make these vaccines happen and to make them available. So there is both that economic argument that it's really the taxpayers who should decide what happens to all these extra vaccines because there are extra vaccines now. And also um, a moral argument uh, and a health argument. Until we are all vaccinated, we are not all gonna be safe from COVID-19 and its variants. So we feel like it's really important that um, vaccine equity happens. And one of the things that we're trying to do in ASJ is we are trying to uh, get people to sign on to a petition that is asking President Biden to support a proposal giving uh, that allows countries to be able to receive vaccines from countries that have extras. So for the pharmaceutical companies to waive their rights to keep the vaccine, vaccines under lock and key. And there are about 100 countries who have already signed on to this proposal. We would like Joe Biden, um, the president of the United States, to be one of those, uh, to add his name to this list, to push vaccine equity forward so that countries like Honduras, people like Albertina can get vaccinated. Um, you know, we know that we are all in, in this together. And being here in Honduras, knowing that I have a precious vaccine and my friends do not, um, it's hard, it, 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 it feels wrong. And I think all of us want this to be different. We want to be past this problem. Um, and I wanted to ask Albertina as we're waiting for our, our rice to be done, to talk a little bit about what it will mean for her when she is vaccinated, um, how her life will change. So I'm gonna uh, turn the, the mic over to her, the invisible microphone over to Albertina and let her tell you a little bit about what she's looking forward to. Entonces, Albertina, eh, cuando ya lleguen las vacunas a Honduras, ¿qué es lo que usted eh, anhela poder hacer? ¿Cómo eso va a cambiar su vida? ¿Qué es lo primero después de vacunarse? ¿Qué va a querer hacer? Estar con mi familia, abrazarlos, compartir, eh, abrazar a mis hermanos en Cristo, visitar a mis hermanos en Cristo, a mi familia. Muchas cosas. <laughs> sí. Muchas cosas y muchos abrazos. Y muchos abrazos. Lots and lots of hugs. And, and it's true, you know, as Albertina mentioned, uh, she has a brand new granddaughter that she has seen from afar, but her daughter is being very careful. And it's uh, really been hard for her as a grandma to have to wait. So uh, I just um, want to end this time and we're going to dig into this uh, chicken and rice dish, this arroz con pollo. But um, I want to encourage you all to click on the link that's available. You can learn more about this vaccine equity campaign. And I really hope that you will join us at ASJ and people like Albertina in pushing our governments to do the right thing and to figure this problem out of how we can get vaccines to the rest of the world so that we can all hug our loved ones and we can all spend time together 
Um, and until that happens, uh, we, will help, we will not have uh, reached justice in this issue. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy your arroz con pollo. Bye, everyone. Adios.